Shalom family, my name is Soja Baruch from RUIC Nigeria. We are here to show you the people of Nigeria why we are passing through this predicament. Okay? If you go through the Bible, you realize that we are the Israelites and we are suffering the causes for breaking God's laws. When you read the Bible, in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15, it tells us that what we will suffer causes for not keeping the commandments. And that is why when you look at us, for instance, in Nigeria, we have resources in our land, and yet we are not enjoying those resources. We are not reaping the benefits of those resources. However, another nation of people are reaping the benefits. That is a cause, and I'll read it for you. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 33. And it reads, The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. Verse 34. So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. You see, it's telling you that what? Another nation of people will be exploiting your resources and it will make you mad for the sight of things that you will see. That is why when we look around us, it seems like our conditions are about to drive us crazy. It is a cause for breaking God's laws. And if you go ahead to read verse uh, 43 and verse 44, it talks to you about the foreigners in our land ruling us and being above us and them lending to us and we not being able to lend to them. Have you wondered why we in Nigeria, our government is always going to the foreign countries to collect loans? It is because we are the people of the book, we are the children of Israel and we are breaking God's commandments, hence suffering the curses. Also, the slavery of our forefathers, when you read verse 68 in the same Deuteronomy 28, it tells you about the transatlantic slave trade, how we were going to go into slavery on cargo slave ships. Okay? So, we are trying to show you that we are the children of Israel and we are in this condition for breaking God's laws. If you want to know more, visit our website on israelunite.org. Shalom.